Uh, it's time for another math easy solution term. Discuss further into integrals and work, and go over example four of the example series. Go over this example, which states a tank has the shape of an inverted circular cone with height 10 meters and base 4 meters. It is filled with water to a height of 8 meters. Now it says find the work required to empty the tank by pumping all of the water to the top of the tank. And then density of water given as 1000 kilograms per meters cubed. So first thing uh, to do with any of these word problems is to draw uh, is, is to draw the question out. Basically a tank has a shape of an inverted circular cone. So it's inverted or upside down. So draw a circular cone like this. So it looks something like that. It, the height is 10 meters. And base radius is 4 meters. So we draw it like that. And this is four meters right there. It is filled with water to a height of eight meters. So if I draw some water across here, just, just make that uh, look like water. So this is at a height of eight meters. Let's just assume this is a level. And now find the work required to empty the tank by pumping it out. So let's say we are going to be taking it out of here and pumping it out. So draw a tube like that. So we are taking the water out. So let's, let's just assume we're always taking it from the top and then as you go down you're gonna go take it from further down. And yeah, and basically when you take it from further down the amount of work required to lift up the water is gonna be more. So to solve this problem because it's gonna be changing the amount of work required at each point we would break this up into small parts like I did in my earlier uh, video on my last example video. So let's just take a, a slice across here. So let's just say we, we take, we consider only this slice right here and we'll call this distance delta x and now we will draw our x-axis. Let's start from the top and we will take it all the way down and this will call this our x-axis and at this point is the origin that is zero so at this point so if we were to look at it like this, so now we have this point going down. At this point right here is two. At this point it's 10 meters, so that's our x. This is two meters. And, and uh, so we take this random slice here and this distance here we'll call this point xi. So that'll be our xi. And uh, we'll, we'll just put it in the center there, so x i is there. So what we'll first do is find out the work required to move this amount of water upwards uh, over the top. So to do that, let's say we would do work i is equal to, like I showed in my earlier video, the definition four. So we'll do uh, so the fourth, or then the force at this i point times it by the distance required to go up. Now the force is equal to, well, mass times gravity. So we'll go mi times gravity. So this is the mass of this water, uh, water column or water slice there. Times gravity times it by distance. Now the distance is, it's going to be, well, the distance required to go all the way up, which is just xi. So xi. Yeah, so now uh, to figure out what the mass is, well, we know that the density is given as uh, 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed, or, so that's just going to be a row, that's the symbol for density, 1,000 kg over meters cubed. So if we know this, then we can find out the mass by multiplying this by the volume. So we can get mass, we'll put that right here. Mi is equal to, well, this is just going to be the density of water times it by the volume of that column. So this is going to equal to 1,000, this is kg per meters cubed, times it by the volume, and the volume of this disk is just going to be, that's just going to be um, pi r, this is going to be a circle times by the delta x, so pi r squared, r i squared, times it by uh, times it by delta x. 
And now this RI, that's just the radius of this uh, slice right here. So RI. Yeah, and, and this is our volume VI of this slice. And now we know that, well, we could find out what RI is actually in terms of X by using similar triangles. So we look at this section right there, or bring it, I'll bring this over here so we get something that looks like like this. If we just look at the cross section, so there's R I and this is four. And this total height is gonna be ten. And this point right here is just X I. So by similar triangles we know that um, so this this point right here is gonna be at this height it's gonna be uh, actually ten minus X I. So by similar triangles we get write it down the ratio is going to be the same thing so the height to uh, radius is going to be the same ratio so we get 4 out of 10 so this this radius over this total height it has to equal well whatever the ratio is inside here so which is going to be r r i over 10 minus x i yeah so now we could solve this in terms of uh, r i um, in terms of x i so just write it down so this will be equal to well 2 over 5 just simplify this. So we get R I is equal to 2 over 5 times by 10 minus X I. So now we have this and we could throw this inside our mass function and then we'll put the mass function inside our work function and, and this is all this erase this. This is it's uh I'll put this almost equal to because this is just a rough estimation there for this general uh, section. So we put this all together we get uh, basically work i is roughly equal to this this section which is fi so we put this inside actually so we get 1000 so that's 1000 kilograms times it by pi so there's a pi now there there's this ri squared which is going to be this right here so this is going to be 2 over 5 squared times 10 minus xi squared. So that's uh, ri squared times it by delta x. I'll put the delta x at the end actually. So, or I'll just put that right here. Right, so delta x now times it by g, which is going to be 9.8. So this is our, our g, 9.8 meters per second squared. So that's the units for it. And now we finally times it by xi, which is the distance uh, to the top. So now work is roughly equal to this. I'll simplify this all. So this equals to, this is going to be 1,000 times it by, this is going to be, well, 4 over 25 times it by 9.8. Put the numbers inside here. And now we get, yeah, times it by 10 over x, 10 minus xi squared times it by x i and delta x. So if you put this in a calculator, you get basically, if you solve this top part right here, this is roughly, oh yeah, I actually forgot a pi. So there's a pi right there. So there's the pi. So put this into the calculator, we're going to get 150, yeah, 1570 times it by pi times by 10 minus x i squared times by x i delta x. And now like I showed in my earlier video basically uh, and also using definition of integral and now if we were to sum this up imagine there was an infinite amount of slices all really really small so then the work total work is going to equal to the limit as you get an infinite amount of slices so as n goes to infinity of this summation of this i equals 1 and now you have up to n of this function right there. 1570 pi 10 minus xi squared times xi times delta x. And now this, you could write it as an integral like I showed in my earlier videos. So now we're going to be integrating actually from, well, this, this is the water length. So from 2 all the way to 10. So that's where we're going from. 2 to 10. Now we put this 1570 pi and now we put this 10 minus xi squared times x. Actually, no, this is just going to be x. 
So because this is infinitely small, we're, we're looking at infinitely small uh, segments, xi is going to be pretty much equal to x. So x times y x. Now this delta x is going to be infinitely small, or we'll call it dx. So that's just infinitely small delta x. So there is our integral now. So now we could just solve this, but first let's uh, simplify this out further. So this equals 2, take the 1570 out and pi out. 210, and now we can expand this right here, which would equal to 100. Yeah, so 100, 10 times 10 is 100. Now we'll go 10 times negative x, which is negative 10x. Then we'll do that same thing multiplied again, so negative uh, x times 10, so we're going to get a negative 20x. Now negative x minus, times it by negative x, that's just plus x squared, times by x dx, now we just multiply the x inside we get, yeah, this is a tedious example, 210, now we get 100x minus 20x squared plus x cubed dx. And now if we are just to solve this integral out, 70 pi, this is going to be equal to 100x squared over 2 that's integral of x and integral of x squared is going to be, we'll put this 20 there, x cubed over 3 plus now x4 four over 4. This is from 2 to 10. Now, now uh, basically if you put this in the calculator, so you put the 10 inside each of these x's and then minusing when you put the 2 in, do that in the calculator, I don't have time to do it right now, but you'll get the answer is going to be, well, 170 pi times it by, or this whole thing is going to be equal to two, 2048 divided by 3. Now if you plug this all into the calculator, you'll get roughly equals to 3.4 times 10 to the power of 6 joules. Yeah, and joules in this case, yeah, this is just the unit of energy, and if you were to work out all the units, that's just going to be your, your timesing by a force times distance. So that's just going to be newtons times meter in this uh, standard or SI units. And that's the answer in this question. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this, well, tedious example. But it's pretty, uh, it's pretty interesting and pretty useful. You could break this up and then you could pretty much use the definition of integral and Raymond sums really quickly. Anyways, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned. And like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution